Hello, it's Sophia the Therapist, and this is week nine, day three of my nine-week challenge. And, you know, I want to reflect on something that occurred yesterday. I, I was reaching out to someone who I dearly love, and they weren't returning my calls. Then I text them, send them messages, and I could see that they read them and didn't answer. So, I jumped to a conclusion. They're mad at me. They're not speaking to me. And, you know, I have issues, have had past issues with abandonment. Abandonment. So, what is abandonment? Abandonment is, of course, when you feel like as if or know that someone important to you left you. And um, my abandonment issues stem from the loss of my father when I was two. He died. And, you know, as a two-year-old, you don't really understand death and that type of thing. But it registered in my spirit as he left me. So, whenever I get a feeling like that, it triggers my abandonment. So immediately I'm I go into oh they're abandoning me and I'm sad and how could you leave me? I can't believe this is happening. I'm so sad and really was sad. Really was sad. And then I got a call. And needless to say, my assumption was wrong. You know, sometimes people just get busy, they're in the middle of doing things and that you don't know of and your 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 theme your life theme if you have an abandonment issue is that people will abandon you people you love will leave you and that immediately kicks in even though it wasn't true so find out what your your issues are and you know we talk a lot about Well, I haven't, but going to counseling, sometimes you need a professional to help you to dig into your past and understand some of the themes of your life so that they can be corrected. Now, the fortunate thing is the person who I was reaching out to also has a bad issue, so she fully understood what happened. And Of course, she reassured me, nothing's going on. I'm sorry that happened. I didn't mean for you to feel that way. And like a two-year-old, all I could say was, I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm sad. And she reassured, "I'm, I'm sorry you're sad. I didn't mean for that to happen. Nothing is different. I still love you. Nothing has changed. And immediately put my spirit to rest. So one other thing you have to understand is if something triggers your themes of life, if something triggers those issues from childhood, you will immediately act like you're the age that you were when it happened. Let's say some of us have arrested development because we get triggered by things that happened when we were four or five or six or 10, and you immediately go into a behavior of a four, five, six, or 10 year old. So that's for another session. We, we're going to really have to do some work around that. So this is Sophia, the therapist, hipping you to the, to the T about abandonment issues and hoping that you'll get some help for yours if you have them. All right. See you next time. Good Lord willing. And the creek don't rise.